गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दी बेसिक योगी पोशस यू कुड सिट इन अ कंफर्टेबल पोशर बैक शुड बी स्ट्राइट क्लोज योर आईज ब्रेथ अवेयरनेस Slow and deep inhalation with full exhalation. Very slowly. very deeply you need to inhale and exhale step by step you need to increase the duration of the inhalation and exhalation you should not hear your own breath sounds very slowly you need to practice as you inhale the cool air is going in while exhalation warm is coming out try to differentiate the cool and warm air feel the free flow of the air in the upper middle and lower respiratory tract as you inhale air is passing through your nostrils trachea and lungs while exhalation air is coming back from your lungs trachea and nostrils just to feel how the air is moving in and coming out we are inhaling maximum amount of oxygen exhaling all the carbon dioxide try to empty your lungs in the end of the exhalation in the early morning in the natural atmosphere you will get the purest form of oxygen as you inhale your abdominal muscles are bulging out chest is expanding your clavicular bones are moving upwards along with the shoulder joint while exhalation your clavicular bones are moving downward chest is constricting your abdominal muscles are moving in try to synchronize your breathing movements with your abdomen chest clavicular movement that is called full yogic breathing that is the right way of breathing technique breathe in and breathe out after full observation of your normal breathing movements three rounds will chant omkara we could feel the resonance throughout your body first one third omkara and second two third mkara by closing of your lips we will chant together we'll practice take a deep inhalation oh normal breathing in between very good exercise for your vocal cord throat and lungs relieves all the congestion at your throat second round will practice with full concentration once again inhale deeply
normal breathing. You will feel the resonance throughout your body, relaxes your body muscles, relaxes your mind. Last round will practice with full concentration. Once again, take a deep inhalation. on your eyeball, make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes gently. You could feel the warmthness around your eye muscles, relaxes your eye muscles. After relaxation, slowly bring down both the hands to now push her. With a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. We'll start with the loosening exercises. Keep your feet slightly apart. Take your hands backwards. Back should be straight. We'll start with the head and neck movement. Bend forward and backward. If possible, close your eyes and practice so that you will have a complete concentration on your neck muscles, different body parts. Forward and backward. In the early morning, you may feel little stiffness, restrictions at your neck movement. With a regular practice of exercises, reduce the stiffness, improves the range of the head and neck movement. Forward and backward. Very slowly we are practicing. Step by step you need to increase the range of the head and neck movement. If possible, try to touch your chin to the chest while bending forward. Back portion of the head should touch us to the upper part of your back muscles while bending backwards. Never force anywhere. As for your body flexibility, you need to practice forward and backward. With a normal breathing, we are practicing and slowly come to no pusher, slowly relax for a while. We'll go for sideward bending, left side and right side. Shoulders should be at one line, you should not lift up your shoulders. One side stretching, other side compression. It improves the elasticity of your lateral neck muscles. Due to lack of elasticity, you will be feeling stiffness, restrictions at your neck muscles. Left side and right side. With a normal breathing, we are practicing. Step by step, you need to increase the range of the sideward bending. If possible, try to touch your ears to the respective shoulder muscles without lifting your shoulders. Left side and right side. Feel the complete stretch of your neck muscles. 
and slowly come to normal posture, slowly relax for a while, normal breathing will go for twisting of your head and neck, try to twist your head and neck towards the left side and right side. Very slowly we are practicing, shoulders should be at one line, feel the complete twisting of your neck organs, twisting of your neck muscles, very good exercise for your all the neck organs, esophagus, trachea, vice box, thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is a very important endocrine gland, produces the hormones, regulates your digestion, breathing, heartbeat, metabolic function, prevents from hypothyroidism, is the commonest medical condition in the population. Try to twist completely towards the left side and right side. And slowly come to no pusher, slowly relax for a while. We'll go for rotation, slowly bend forward, clockwise rotation, forward, right side, backward, left side, forward. Feel the complete rotation of your head and neck in a clockwise direction. Improves the blood circulation towards the neck muscles, neck organs, facial muscles, brain. Lubricates your seven cervical vertebras. It maintains the normal space between the two vertebras. Intervertebral disc, forward, right side, backward, left side, forward. If possible, close your eyes and practice. You need to balance your body while practicing and slowly come to normal posture. We'll go for anti-clockwise rotation, forward, left side, backward, right side, forward. It mobilizes your neck fat, improves the physiological functions of your neck organs. We are giving exercise to all our neck muscles forward, left side, backward, right side, forward. Very slowly we are rotating in an anti-clockwise direction and slowly come to no posture, slowly relax for a while, normal breathing, hands by the side of your body. Always you could feel the effect of exercises before and after We'll go for shoulder exercises, shrugging in and out. Inhale and slowly lift up your shoulders as much as possible. Exhale and bring down. Second round, inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath at least for 10 seconds in the final pose. Bring down. Third round, inhale. Try to stretch your low back muscles, lower abdominal muscles upwards. Hold your breath. Exhale and bring down. Fourth round, inhale. Feel the complete tightening of your shoulder muscles in the final pose. Hold your breath. Exhale. And bring down. Fifth round, inhale. Try to stretch your entire trunk part muscles upwards. Improves the elasticity. Exhale and bring down. Last round, inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath. Exhale and bring down. Slowly relax for a while, normal breathing. We'll go for hand in and out stretch. Bring both the palms on your shoulders, elbows together. Start inhalation and slowly spread your elbows as wider as possible. Hold your breath in the final pose. Exhale and bring forward. Empty your lungs in the end of the exhalation. Second round, start inhalation. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath. Exhale 
them bring forward elbows together in the final pose third round inhale try to spread your elbows as wider as possible shoulder blades are touching each other in the upper part of your back muscles exhale and bring forward fourth round inhale try to fill up the all the lobes of your lungs in the upper middle lower lobes exhale and bring forward fifth round inhale feel the complete stretching of your cardiac muscles intercostal muscles expansion of your ribs exhale and bring forward last round inhale take a maximum air inside both the lungs are filled with oxygen in the final pose and bring forward slowly bring down both the hands and our pusher normal breathing feel the changes at your thorax we'll go for shoulder rotation again bring both the palms on your shoulders forward rotation if possible try to touch your elbows in front of your chest with a normal breathing we are practicing very good exercise for your shoulder joint it prevents from frozen shoulder is a medical condition shoulder joint is also called as ball and socket joint because it rotates in all the directions that's why you require maximum fluid inside for a better flexibility with a regular practice of exercises lubricates your shoulder joint very slowly with a normal breathing we are practicing if possible try to touch your elbows in front of your chest and slowly come to no pusher we'll go for backward rotation reverse rotation again try to touch your elbows in front of your chest due to stiff muscles in the early morning you may feel heaviness warmthness dull aching pain at your shoulders with a regular practice reduce the stiffness improves the blood circulation towards the shoulder muscles upper part of your chest and back muscles with a normal breathing we are practicing and slowly come to no pusher slowly relax for a while normal breathing feel the changes at your shoulder joint we'll go for elbow joint movement bring both the hands forward palms facing upwards flexion and extension bend your elbows and make it straight flexion and extension it strengthens the upper arm muscles especially deltoid and biceps muscles very good exercise for your elbow joint it strengthens the ligaments and tendons prevents from tennis elbow is a medical condition flexion and extension you may feel again heaviness dull aching pain at your shoulders and slowly come to no pusher very slowly bring down both the hands on no pusher feel the relaxation at your shoulders we'll go for wrist joint movements bend your elbows stretch it upwards and downwards as much as possible we are stretching upwards and downwards very good exercise for your forearm muscles we have a different types of muscles in our body the skeletal muscles smooth muscles cardiac muscles we are giving exercise to all our body muscles stretch it completely upwards and downwards and slowly come to no pusher slowly bring down we'll go for sideward bending left side and right side as much as possible stretch it it lubricates your wrist joint we'll go for rotation complete rotation in the beginning you may feel cracking sound improves the fluid in the joint reduces the cracking sound lubricates your carpal bones reverse rotation try to make a bigger circle and slowly come to no pusher slowly relax for a while we'll go for finger joint movement spread your fingers as wide as possible stretch it make a tight fist tighten it 
and stretch it. Repeat for a few more rounds. It strengthens the palm muscles, lubricates your small finger joints, improves the blood circulation towards the, all the tip of the fingers. It relieves the fine tremors, is a medical condition. Stretch it and make it tight fist and slowly come to no pusher. Slowly relax for a while. Feel the warmthness at your both the arms that indicates the blood circulation is improved. We'll go for a spinal column movement. Keep both the palms on your waist muscles. Knee should be straight. From the hip joint, you need to bend forward and backward. Never force anywhere. As for your body flexibility, you need to practice. Your knee should be straight. Very carefully, you need to practice. Step by step, you need to increase the range of the spinal column movement. Forward and backward. Very good exercise for your all the 33 vertebras, 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacrum and 4 coccyx, the tailbone. It prevents from low back pain, it is a commonest to medical condition. Very good exercise for your low back muscles, lower abdominal muscles, pelvic muscles, mobilizes your abdominal fat. Good exercise for your abdominal organs, forward and backward. Day by day our body flexibility is improving. And slowly come to no pusher, slowly relax for a while. Bring down both the hands to no pusher. Sideward bending, left side and right side. As much as possible we are stretching towards the left side and right side. It stretches the entire sides of your body muscles. It helps to mobilize your waist fat. It stimulates your liver, which is situated in the right side of your abdomen, spleen and pancreas in the left side of the abdomen. Relieves the stretch marks at your waist muscles. Relieves the bloatedness at your abdomen, left side and right side. Feel the complete stretch of your waist muscles. And slowly come to no pusher, slowly relax for a while. We'll go for a spinal twisting, bring both the palms at the level of your chest. Feet should be straight and slowly twist your trunk part towards the left side and right side. Your hand should be at the level of your shoulders, including your head and neck. We are twisting in the final pose. Very carefully you need to practice. You need to balance your body in the final pose. Left side and right side. Your feet should be straight. Knee should be straight. From the brain, all the nerves passes through your spinal column. It stimulates your central nervous system, activates your brain cells. Very good exercise for your chest muscles, abdominal muscles, spinal muscles. Left side and right side. Day by day, our body flexibility is improving and slowly come to no pusher. Slowly relax for a while. Bring down both the hands to no pusher. We'll go for hip joint rotation. Keep both the palms on your waist muscles. Clockwise rotation. Forward, right side, backward, left side, forward. Very good exercise for your hip muscles low back muscles, lower abdominal muscles, very important, urinary bladder muscles, forward, right side, backward, left side, forward, improves the blood circulation towards the reproductive organs, it mobilizes your abdominal fat, like abdomen, maximum fat can accumulate at your hip muscles, and slowly come to now push her. anti-clockwise rotation forward left side backward right side forward it strengthens the back muscles lubricates your hip joint one of the strongest joint of the body the hip joint forward left side backward, right side, forward. Feel the pulling, stretching of your hip muscles and slowly come to no pusher. Slowly relax for a while. Bring down both the hands to no pusher. 
We'll go for our legs moment. You need to balance your body. We'll start with the right leg. Gaze at one point, forward and backward. Try to gaze at one object. Easily you could balance your body. Swing your right leg completely. It stretches the thigh muscles, hip muscles. And slowly come to now push up. Slowly bring down. Same way from the left leg. Forward and backward. Swing your left leg. Any balancing improves your concentration, improves the central nervous system function, activates your small brain, which is responsible for balancing part of the body called cerebellum. And slowly bring down. We'll go for side boots, left side and right side. It stretches the inner and outer thigh muscles. In the early morning, we'll have a lot of stiffness around the hips. Release the stiffness at your hip joint. And slowly come to our posture. Same way from the left leg. Stretch it as wider as possible. It stretches the inner and outer thigh muscles. And slowly come to our posture. We'll go for knee joint movement. Bend your right knee. Try to touch your heels to the hips. Good exercise for your knee muscles. A group of thigh muscles called hamstring muscles. Try to touch your heels to the hips. And slowly bring down. Same way from the left knee. Bend your left knee completely and make it straight. Try to gaze at one point easily, could balance your body, make it straight and bend completely. Each movement gives exercise to different body parts, different muscles. Slowly bring down. We'll go for knee joint rotation. Feet together, both the palms on your knees. Try to rotate in a clockwise direction. Very slowly we are rotating. You may feel cracking sound in the joint. It strengthens the ligaments and tendons, cartilage. Improves the synovial fluid in the joint for better lubrication. Anticlockwise rotation. It prevents from osteoarthritis of the knee joint. Commonest medical condition in the population. It reduces the cracking sound, improves more and more blood circulation. One of the weight-bearing joint you need to take care and slowly come up. We'll go for ankle joint movement. We'll start from the right ankle, up and down. Stretch it upwards and downwards. Very good exercise for your calf muscles. Calf muscles are also called second heart. It has to pump the blood from the ankles towards the heart. The reverse blood circulation should happen. Left side and right side. It reduces the workload to the heart. And slowly bring down. Same way from the left ankle. Up and down. Feel the movement of your all the leg muscles, especially below the knee joint. Side boots left side and right side as wider as possible we are practicing slowly bring down we'll go for rotation from the right ankle complete rotation try to make a bigger circle anti-clockwise release the stiffness at your ankle joint it makes the free movement at your ankle slowly bring down same way from the left ankle. Ankle is also one of the weight bearing joint. It has to take your entire body weight anti-clockwise. Slowly bring down. We'll go for toes movement. Fold over all the toes and release. Improves the blood circulation towards the tip of the toes. In many medical condition, the blood circulation towards the feet and toes reduces. That increases the burning of the feet, tingling sensation over the tip of the toes. 
same way from the other side. It also maintains the curvature of the arch of the feet, which is responsible for balancing part of your body. The flat foot is a medical condition. Fold over all the toes and to slowly release and slowly relax. Relax for a while. Feel the changes in your body, especially at your muscles, joints, ligaments, tendons, spinal column. We'll go for basic breathing exercises. Keep your feet together, hands by the side of your body. Bring both the hands forward. Start inhalation and slowly spread your hands as wider as possible. Shoulder blades are touching each other in the upper part of your back muscles. Exhale and bring forward. Second round, inhale. Take a deep inhalation, stretch it, hold your breath, exhale and bring forward. Third round, inhale, try to fill up the, all the lobes of your lungs with air, hold your breath, exhale and bring forward. Next to three rounds, we are going to hold our breath for ten counts at least. Inhale, take a maximum oxygen inside, hold your breath tightly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale and bring forward, second round, inhale, take a deep inhalation, hold your breath tightly, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, bring forward. Last round will practice. Inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Lungs are filled with oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And exhale and bring forward and slowly bring down both the hands on our pusher. Normal breathing. Very good exercise for your all the respiratory muscles, upper, middle, and lower respiratory muscles. You could feel the expansion of your lungs, ribs. We'll go for finger lock movements in three degrees. Bring both the palms on your chest, finger locked. Inhale and slowly stretch your hands as forward as possible. Feel the twisting, stretching of your shoulder joint. Exhale and bring down. Second round, inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath. It stretches the back of the heart and lungs muscles. Exhale and bring down. Third round, inhale. Take a deep inhalation, hold your breath, exhale and bring down, normal breathing in between. Next to three rounds, we are going to hold our breath for ten counts, inhale, take a maximum oxygen inside, hold your breath, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, exhale and bring down. Normal breathing in between. Second round, inhale. Stretch your both the hands as forward as possible. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale and bring down. Last round will practice. Inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath tightly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale and bring down. Slowly bring down both the hands and our pusher. Normal breathing. 
relieves all the congestion at your airwaves so that the there will be a free flow of the air in the upper, middle and lower respiratory tract. We have a different parts in your respiratory system, nostrils, trachea, bronchioles, bronchi, alveoli. Air should reach to the alveoli, that is the place where oxygen carbon dioxide exchange takes place. We'll take both the hands up to 45 degree. Again, bring both the palms on your chest, finger locked. Inhale and slowly lift up your hands up to 45 degree. Hold your breath. Exhale and bring down. Second round, inhale. It stretches the sides of the heart and lungs muscles. Hold your breath. Exhale and bring down. Third round, inhale. Take your hands up to 45 degree, hold it tightly, exhale and bring down. Next three rounds we are going to hold our breath for 10 counts each, inhale, take a deep inhalation, hold your breath, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, exhale and bring down. Second round will practice, inhale. Take a maximum oxygen inside. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale and bring down. Last round will practice, inhale, take a deep inhalation, stretch it upwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exhale and bring down, slowly bring down both the hands on our pusher, normal breathing, heart is full of cardiac muscles, Excellent exercise for your all the cardiac muscles, regulates your heartbeat, controls your blood pressure, improves the blood circulation all over equally. We'll take both the hands up to 90 degree. Again, bring both the palms on your chest, finger locked. Inhale and slowly lift up your hands up to 90 degree. Hands are touching to the ears. Exhale and bring down. Second round, inhale. Stretch your low back muscles, lower abdominal muscles upwards. Exhale and bring down. Third round, inhale. Stretch your entire body muscles upwards in the final pose. Exhale and bring down. We have a very important muscle called diaphragm diaphragmatic muscle it divides your chest and abdomen because of the movement of the diaphragm the lungs expands and constrict next to three rounds we are going to hold our breath for 10 counts inhale lift up your hands up to 90 degree hold your breath one two three four five six seven eight nine and exhale and bring down normal breathing in between second round start inhalation try to lift up your hands up to 90 degree stretch your all the body muscles upwards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten exhale and bring down Last round will practice. You need to stretch your all the body muscles in the final pose. Inhale. Take a deep inhalation. Hold your breath tightly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale and bring down. Slowly bring down both the hands on our pusher. Normal breathing. Relax for a while. Feel the effect of basic breathing exercises. 
very quickly improves the oxygen level to your cells, tissues, organs, relieves all the congestions at your airwaves, excellent exercise for your cardiac muscles, improves the lung function, lungs volume. You could feel the cooling effect at your thorax, normal breathing, slowly come to sitting posture, you could sit in any comfortable posture, back should be straight, close your eyes, in the end we'll chant one round of Omkara followed by palming, together we'll practice Take a deep inhalation. Oh. Normal breathing. It relaxes your mind relaxes your body muscles. In the end, we'll go for a palming, rub your both the palms till you get your warmthness. Keep warm palms on your eyeball, make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes gently, no pressure to your eyeball. You could feel the darkness, relaxes the pupils of your eyes, it relaxes the optic nerve. After relaxation, slowly bring down both the hands on your pusher. With a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Thank you. Have a good day.